and a lot of the decision making as far as the candidacy and what your options are um, depend on both the size and location of the fibroids, your symptomatology, as well as things like your desire for fertility. Myomectomy, hysterectomy are not your only two options. There are also others that potentially could be options, again, depending on the size, location, and some of your um, goals and desires, especially surrounding things like fertility. So usually the patients that have larger fibroids overall or larger uteri overall, the recommendation becomes an open myomectomy, mainly because we need space and the ability to um, see what we're doing laparoscopically to do a safe and not just safe, but effective procedure. Because one of the things that you will read on your consent for a laparoscopic myomectomy is that potential to miss fibroids. And as we've already said, we know that there's a recurrence rate and a lot of the recurrence rate is because fibroids are left behind by surgeons. So we also have to balance that risk when we make these recommendations to patients. Now, when you go see doctors like myself and Dr. Winner who have been trained to do these laparoscopic surgeries to an even more complex state, I mean, I've removed 20, 25 fibroids laparoscopically um, in the past and I use ultrasounds when I do robotic um, procedures as well. I use all types of modalities to try to help me not leave fibroids behind. Um, but not every laparoscopic or robotic surgeon um, will do so. So it's a lot that goes into that question, but typically it's about the size, number, location, and then of course the patient's um, desire. But at the end of the day, it's actually the same procedure and you have less risk when we can do it minimally invasive, less risk of adhesions, especially knowing that a lot of times we're making recommendations about cesarean section for patients post myomectomy. That means that you can anticipate another surgery. So we want to go the most minimally invasive um, route, not just so you heal fast, but also to cut down risk of complications, blood loss, and um, things like adhesive disease.